Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again. I'm back on the work grind Monday morning. Um, I just wanted to give y'all my reaction and my thoughts on the blue and white scrimmage yesterday. I know I'm a little late, but I was out working on my bench yesterday, and by the time I saw the blue and white scrimmage, I saw it later. Um, it was already like 10, 11 o'clock, so I was like, I'll do a video tomorrow. And I got my new co-worker here with me, Janine, um, training her, so... Yeah, so she's a Giant fan, by the way. So, <laughs> so real quick before I start talking about my team, what, what your Giants gonna do this year? They're gonna do a lot better than last year. Tell okay. you that one. Okay. Last year was rough. It was rough last year. I believe it. Uh, y'all got Saquon Barkley, and That's and, right. and y'all got my boy Will Hernandez. That's right. Um, Look out. <laughs> Now, she's not as bad as the stinking Giants fan, so you don't know. We have a, in, in, in my uh, Cowboys group, we have a, uh, a guy we call the stinking Giants fan. He went with us on our road trip. Yeah. There's a bunch of Cowboy fans, and he's the only Giant fan talking shit the whole time. He has this squeaky, annoying-ass voice, and I, I can't, I, oh my God, I wanted to slap shit out of him the whole trip. But anyway, uh, back to the Cowboys. <laughs> yes, we play the Giants twice a year, and we got y'all week two. Um, me and her might be uh, waging bet, uh, bets on that game but uh, back to training camp so yesterday I know a lot of you guys were down on Dak or saying Dak sucks this and that okay look first of all I'm going to say this yes he did have two picks in practice now again the scrimmage is technically not a game it's more of a hybrid practice it's like practice on a different level you have the intensity level is up People are actually getting tackled and things of that nature, except for the quarterback. You don't touch the quarterback. Um, Tavon Allison was out there looking good. He scored. Um, Lance Lenore, my pet cat, he scored too. Um, now, as far as the picks Dak threw, now I look at it like this. In training camp, it's supposed to be the time. Training camp is supposed to be the time for you to go out there and make your mistakes as a player a lot of players look at it like this oh this is the blue and white scrimmage it's going to be televised it's going to be a lot of people there watching i don't want to show my worst what Dak prescott does and this is a, he's a smart guy and I, and I and i tell you guys this because he's a cerebral guy he he went out there and basically was like i'm gonna i'm gonna work on the things that i need to work on because i know that i don't want to lose my spot as a quarter starting quarterback on this team I'm going to work on the things that I need to work on anytime I can work on it, not just in, in a practice where nobody's watching. He wants to go out there, even in a, in a blue and white scrimmage like this, he wants to go out there, throw the deep balls, work on his mechanics, work on his footwork, work on his uh, reads, do the things of that nature basically so he can get better. Now, this is the time to mess up. You'd rather him make his mistakes now than come the season time <laughs> when it counts. You understand what I'm saying? This is the reason for training camp. This is the reason for preseason. This is the reason why we practice, to get better. Um, That first pick, he threw, a, he threw it in the flat to Cole Beasley. Cole Beasley actually should have came back to the ball because he's not a big guy. Now, if that was like a bigger guy like Noah Brown or, or, or um, Terrence Williams, he, it probably would have been batted away or he would have caught it. But the way, um, but you got to give the defense credit. Our defense this year, these young guys are scrappy. They, 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 they going hard right now. They ready to work. And you got to give them their credit too. So I'm just saying, Anthony Brown on there, he, he came through and he got the pick six on that one and um, he got the best of Cole Beasley. Now on the second one, it was a pass to Terrence Williams. Again, Anthony Brown was there. He uh, he knocked the ball up with his left hand to try to bat it away. The ball pops up. And Jeff Heath, Jeff Heath always seems to be right there when the ball pops up. That's that's how he gets all his interceptions in, in regular season games. And he got the ball back and he ran it. So that's pretty. And I'm not making excuses for Dak. I'm just saying that, you know, this is training kid. This is the time where... You make the mistakes. This is the time where you work on your mechanics. Now, another thing, too, is we got a lot of new wide receivers on this team. They're still learning the playbook. They're still learning um, 
they're still learning the Dallas Cowboy way and how to um, play for this team. So, um, a lot, like I said, you got these young guys like Gallup and 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 all these undrafted rookies. They're still learning. Some of these guys won't even make the team. So, you got to put that in account. It's it's a lot of different factors that weigh in on that situation. So, that's just all I'm gonna say about that. But all in all. The offense, in the beginning, the offense had their way. They, they were scoring. They were doing the damn thing. Um, then the defense came back, and they started hammering down, and they got two pick sixes, and, and, and I think it was like a forced fumble or something like that. But they did the damn thing, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy for this defense this year because I think that this is one of the first years in a while that our defense is going to be not necessarily carrying the offense, but I think that they're going to be a great complement to the offense because turnovers are big. You get turnovers, you ultimately win the game because if you turn the ball over for your offense, your offense wins that time of possession, and which in turn, you should win the game. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. And I know a lot of your reserves right now because – Years pass. We had Jason Witten. We didn't have to worry about the tight end position. There's this team looks totally different. So I understand everybody is concerned as far as um, what are we going to do this year because of the simple fact that the team looks different. But I'm telling you right now, I'm looking at what we have. I think that um, things will get better on offense. I think that once they start learning each other and meshing better, I think that it's it's going to get better towards the season. Like I said. We have our first preseason game on Thursday night against the San Francisco 49ers. And then, we'll, you know, us playing against another team, we'll actually see what they can do. So, you know, don't get down right now about the offense. Just let it play out. It's still early, y'all. It's still early. So, um, what else did I have to say? Um, Cause I always forget something every time I record. Cause I don't, I'm, I, I'm not, I don't write notes. I do this off the fly because I just want you guys to understand that, like you know, I got a lot of knowledge of the game, and I look at things in a broader perspective. Like when it comes to things, like I don't just be like, oh well, that guy sucks. Got to have a reason for <laughs> saying that somebody sucks. And like I said, I don't think Dak sucks. That Dak has to learn. You got to remember, he was a fourth round pick. This is his learning experience. Now, this is his year. And if he doesn't do well this year, then or those of you said he sucks. Okay, then he doesn't deserve to be the quarterback. But from what he showed us, my whole thing is I look at it like this: if you do it once, you can do it again. That's right. If you showed me that you had the skill to do it, I believe that you can do it again. And again. Being a quarterback, you're going to get all the praise when the team wins, and you're going to get all the hate when you throw interceptions. And that's what anything. That's what Eli Manning, because you already know, Eli mm -hmm. Manning gets a lot of <laughs> hate right now. But, I mean, it is what it is. That's just It's just all about the, playing that quarterback position. You're going to get that. Um, I think all in all, training camp is, is great. Um, like I said, I'm looking forward to these preseason games. I want to see them beating up other teams instead of each other because there's been a lot of fights in camp and you know I'm all for the scrappiness because anytime you got two three hundred plus pound men going at it it's gonna be it's gonna be somebody gonna get hit you know what I mean somebody gonna feel slighted but I love how like the battle offense wins then the defense wins and everybody is going up and down and there's certain players I'm a little disappointed in Coney Ely I thought that he was gonna come here and play a little better um but again, Charles Tapper stepping up. So these these younger guys are stepping up. The people that you didn't think that was going to step up are stepping up. And as we go further, injuries will play a factor in this. But again, when the team comes down to have to pick who they're going to um, choose for this team, uh, you know, it's going to it's going to work out. And uh, I, I'm really hoping that Lance Lenore makes this team because I, you know, he's been sitting on the practice squad for like two years. And I want to see, um, well, last season. So I want to see him actually make this roster because I think he, he's got, I don't know, him and Cooper got some great chemistry because that deep ball that he threw him in the corner in the end zone and the blue and white scrimmage, that, that was awesome. Now, you know, Dak throw him something like that in the game. Oh, shit. With Gallup, and then once um, Hearns and Deontay Thompson comes back into the fold, when they bring the veterans back, I'm telling you, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be an interesting season, y'all. I mean, I I don't think that we're not gonna we're not gonna 
fail. I'm going to tell you that right now because if anything, this defense is going to show people because they're aggressive and, and, and they look like they're ready to go. I'm looking at players like Anthony Brown stepping up, Chittabaya Wuzie, um, Jordan Lewis. All these guys are ready to go. They are ready to go. Byron Jones playing at his natural cornerback position. They ready to go, y'all. They ready to eat like Zeke. And the defense ready to eat. So they ain't going to be the only one. <laughs> Zeke ain't the only one eating. Everybody eating right now. Everybody getting a piece of the motherfucking pie. I'm telling you. So with that being said, we got to get back to work. I got to finish training her because I have to do that. I have to be responsible. I have to be, you know, I got to be that responsible guy. I can't can't have her come to here like, this nigga doing videos on it. No. 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 So, at the end of the day, it's your boy E2 Blue, always keeping it real, y'all. Thanks again to all my subscribers. Like, share, comment. I appreciate y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon. Have a great day.